three five-minute rounds if they need them at a catch weight of 132 pounds. Scott Boom Boom alone in the yellow with black trim. Michele Martignoni in the black. Going for that head kick early there was Martignoni. As you said, Paul, super fast start. Super fast start to a feel and process. Oh, and a huge shot there with a the left hand from Martignoni. We know he's got stopping power in those hands. We know that Malone does too. Beautiful head kick and changes level. Yeah, I thought that was really nice. Uh, to come straight up, a head kick straight into a single leg, and he was forcing the pressure on the cage. As a highly credentialed judo competitor before embarking on his MMA career was Scott Malone, so you've got to think he's going to be happy in this position. Yeah, I'd like to see him use his, uh, his inside trip or his right leg because he's favouring that right side, or he can drop down to a single and uh, take it to the mat from there, but he seems to be uh, just holding on here with the, the arm around the back. We last saw him in October of last year, and if you can believe it, he's actually been matched three times on Cage Warriors since then, they've all fallen through. Hey, busy, guys. I think that's crazy, 15, uh, 15 scratch fights. I mean, that's 15 that they're on top of, so there's probably <laughs> one or two guys. more as well. I have to say, his, uh, his head pressure here is, uh, is really good. There's the drop in for the double. If he switches to the single, which he has, there's back to the double. And this is good work right from, uh, from Malone. And you've got to think as well with Martin Yoni fingers, not being in Don't fight camp just a couple of weeks ago. He's taken this fight on, on very short notice and, and needed that bit of extra time to cut the weight. Perhaps the game plan from Malone here is to just wear him out and, and drag him into the second and maybe third round. Yeah, maybe. Um, Don't hold looking, the looking at uh, uh, Michel, I think he looks in phenomenal shape anyway. So, you know, maybe the, th the three rounds, it's not going to be affecting, uh, affecting him too much. Well, we've seen him fight long fights before, and cardio certainly has not been an issue for the Italian Thunder. And like I said, these fly weights usually go for uh, for days, but I know this is at 132, so um, I don't think he's had to overcut too much down to the 127 mark, you know? Yeah, both these guys over their careers have competed at both weights, so shouldn't think there won't be much of an issue. There's a nice right hand there from Martignoni. Big right hand, big hook. Malone just reaching a little bit there. He's got to be wary of the counter. Malone telling us Guys, that he, he wants to be firmly on his way towards the title by the end of this year, and he's got to start putting those wins together against guys like Martignoni. A big win here is certainly going to do him a lot of good in the standings. He is a little bit wild, Martignoni, um, but he is taking centre of the cage and he is forcing the action. And he's done that again, nice body kick straight into a single leg. He's not finishing it, but it is a nice transition to go from one to the other. He's certainly giving Martignoni a lot to think about in terms of where the next attack's going to come from. And he has the hands clinched behind the back, so it's a nice body lock on here. I do think he's going to turn this into a throw or a trip. And he just let go, just to let go, uh, some shots off. Malone, the slightly more experienced of the two in terms of how long they've been competing. He debuted back in September of 2013, turned pro in 2015. Really nice, really nice uh, turn off from uh, Marta, uh, Marta Joni. Um, I thought he did great to go off the fence there. Nice head position. Final 30 seconds of the first round, and it's been an intriguing clash between Malone and Martignoni here in our feature prelim. Nice body shot there from the Italian Thunder. Watch the heads, guys. Oh, throws his man to the mat there, does Malone. 
<laughs> nice so shot. Head kick. Really nice down. shot. Hey! And Peter Lavery just wiping Martin Yoni down a little bit. A bit too much water on the fighter. And we will get straight back to it. Okay, time. Wait. See a lot of grease there on the eye of Martin Yoni where that cut is. I want see to see if they can uh, keep the same pace from the uh, fourth round. Well, I think that's going to be the question as this one goes a little deeper, Paul. Like, can Martin Yoni maintain that pace? Is he in the same kind of shape that Malone is? Malone lands a spinning elbow. Martin Yoni firing straight back. I'd like to see uh, Maloney uh, just move off that centre line a little bit more instead of backing towards the cage. Big body kick there from Malone. But that's a nice sprawl for Martin Yoni. He's perhaps scouted that now. Yeah, he does that really well, the kick and the, and the, the shot. So uh, maybe he has, he has him uh, red for the next uh, two rounds. Malone trying to hang on to the foot there, but there was nothing on it. Martin Yoni instigating the stand-up. This is where he likes to fight. Getting those big power shots going. Nice elbows here. Kevin Maloney, I need to run the pipe. Um, he's staying in the one spot and he's just eating shots here, which is no good. Good job to release the leg there from Martin Yoni and again takes his preferred position, centre cage. Heavy inside kick. That hurt, uh, that hurt Maloney. Scott Malone trying to find a way in now. Martignoni firing that famous right hand. It's the one he used to get that quick knockout. Oh, it's a left there and a big right. That one stunned Malone. Malone firing back those stiff shots. These are big shots for uh, for bantamweights. Pace is slowed down just a touch. Nice left hook. Oh, caught him there with the uppercut. That staggered Malone. Martignoni pounding away to the ribs there. Malone's hands are just a little low for what, uh, what Michel's throwing. Martignoni putting his man on the cage now. Trying to close Malone down. If anything, I think Malone's getting tired here. Um, and he's the one with a full camp. A couple of big body shots from Martignoni have probably not helped that situation for him. He does get the body lock here, though. I'm surprised he's not using more of his judo or his trips off the cage. Um, he seems to be getting his hands clasped, clasped uh, around the back, but he doesn't seem to be doing anything off the back of it. Good head position, though. I would like to see him throw uh, maybe a couple more shots with the left hand because if you look closely, he has the back tied up with the right and they just have to split him, but... It's certainly Martin Yoni that's done the more damage in this round so far, and Malone really needs to mix that up a little bit. Those yeah. big inside uh, right kicks, they're hurting Malone. Again to the body goes Michele Martin Yoni. Oh, finds a home with the right hand again, and Malone looks stunned there. Maybe a bit of fatigue, but that right hand certainly landed. Martin Yoni looking for a finish. I think this is... Uh, I think this is close to being done here, if uh, Martin Yoni keeps this up. Oh, goes to the body shot, and you see the grimace on the face of Scott Malone there. I think he's going to go jab overhand Roy. There you go. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm still new to this commentating gig, uh, Brad, give me a break. Oh, we got a great, great card for it, my friend. All action fights here tonight so far at Cage Warriors 140. Martin Yoni with the short shots inside. I don't know, he seems to be a little bit defeat. Uh, I think this kid can go for days. It was announced a, a couple of months ago that Cage Warriors will be going to Italy this year, and 
Martin Yoni, I'm sure, will be eyeing a spot on that card. What a way to earn that spot by beating Scott Malone here tonight. Again, firing downstairs to the body is Martin Yoni, really mixing up those angles of attack now. Feature prelim, Cage Warriors 140 live on UFC Fight Pass. Brad Wharton and Paul Redman privileged to call the action here tonight in the SEC Arena. And already Martin Yoni body hunting with that right hand. Yeah, I think the, st the sting has gone out of um, Malone's shots. Look, he's landed that body kick a couple of times and um, it doesn't seem to be phasing uh, Martin Yoni. Again, another big shot to the body and the grimace from Malone. This is really nice work by Martin Yoni. Nice right hand. Nice body shot. And Malone just can't seem to get a read on where the next shot's going to come from. And that's precisely what Martin Yoni's been trying to deliver all night here. These are big shots from that position. And Malone is just hanging on. I don't think it doesn't seem to be running the pipe, it doesn't seem to be changing angles. I think this is close to being done here. This is good, good work for Martin Yoni. I think Martin Yoni was would perhaps have opted to stand up in the second round in that position, but now he's just looking the whale on Scott Malone. Yeah, and if you're Scott Malone, which are two shoulders on the uh, back on the, uh, on the mat. Target? Um, tired, I don't think he's going to get a sweep Target. in this position. Do you want him up? I think Martin Yoni lets him up. There we go. Yeah, yeah, referee Peter Lavery there this, after you won him up. And this is where Martin Yoni likes to fight, where he can put those heavy hands to work. And he's putting them to work upstairs and downstairs on Scott Malone here in the third round. Malone firing back, but just a few inches short. Oh, nice one-two there from Malone. Got something left in the tank here, but you would think he's going to need a finish at this point. As you say, Paul, the first round a lot closer. Malone definitely could still salvage something from this. These are just big right hands, uh, Martin Yoni is uh, firing out over the top and landing. Like, there's that body kick again, he just shakes it off. Now, there is red on the side of his ribs, but it doesn't seem to be phasing him one bit. Yeah, Martin Yoni like a little Italian Terminator here, perhaps that might be a more apt name. He's taken absolutely everything that Malone's thrown at him and just keeps coming forward. Well, it's interesting, um, I've heard a, st a statistic that guys that come in overweight or misweight by a pound or two, when I know he didn't misweight, he made it in the end, but they're the guys that win, it's like 80% or something, so we don't know. Another nice body kick from Malone, reddens up the ribs of Martignoni, but Martignoni still backing his man into the fence with those power shots. Yeah, this is really good, uh, just forward, forward pressure. He's just there, uh, he's not taking the foot off the gas one bit. Just pouring out to find his range and you know that right hand's gonna come behind it at some point. Malone, fair play to the man for hanging in there in the face of some of this barrage of punches. Still getting his licks off as well. I would like to see him uh, attack a takedown a little bit more and try to get top position and, uh, and walk from there because at the minute he's, he's just getting beat up. Oh, another big shot to the body. And, oh, Malone bites back. Malone's nose is bloody and the, and the mouth is wide open, so could be struggling to breathe on top of all these body shots as well. Oh, and another right hand from Martignoni. Another kick from Malone. What an effort these two men have put forth here tonight in Belfast. Yeah, that right hand has been uh, going in a home all night. Yeah, I imagine he's going to want the old ice bucket for that bad boy when he gets backstage. Half a minute left in the round and the fight. Martin Yoni has Malone firmly on the back foot here. 
this is solid work against a game solid opponent I think uh, I think this is a really good win if he does get the job done and you can still hear the crack of the leather leather from Martignani's gloves as he hits Mahone late in the round late in the fight oh spinning back for the attempt now for Italian catches him with the big knee looking for the finish does he get it oh my goodness I think he would have if that left hand landed that was a good, good fight, good wolf rate. Um, started off a little slow, um, and two solid rounds to finish. We go to our judges' scorecards. No judges have scored this contest. 30-26, 30-27, and 29-28. In favour of your winner, by way of unanimous decision, in the ball corner.